This is Words. Ampersand. Ampersand, the symbol meaning and, is a ligature that is a merging together of the letters E and T, et, which is the Latin word for and. Some modern typefaces like Trebuchet MS show ampersands more like how they might have originally looked. You can see the E-T. But why don't we just call ampersand and? Well, originally we did. We just called it and, and it even had the status of being the last character in the alphabet, coming after Z or Z for the Americans, right up until the end of the 19th century. So how did it change from and to ampersand? Well, back in the day when people referred to the letter A or the letter I, they'd say per se A and per se I. Per se is Latin for on its own. So it was a way of making it clear that you were referring to the character, not the one letter word A or I. It was done for the letter O at one point in time too, because at the time O was a one-letter word meaning O. Why anyone felt it was necessary to draw a distinction between these letters and their word counterparts, I have no idea. When you say A or I in a sentence, people know what you mean. And when you're spelling a word and you say A or I, they're not going to be confused. It was a bizarre convention. Even when kids recited the alphabet, they'd start off with per se A, and when they got to it, per se I. Even though it was blatantly obvious they meant the letters, they were reciting the f***ing alphabet! So what does this have to do with ampersand? Well, like I said, it was treated as the 27th letter of the alphabet, and originally it was just called and. But instead of calling it the letter and, or the character and, they called it, you guessed it, per se and. As far as I can tell, this is the only time the prefix per se would have been necessary because there would be times where you'd want to distinguish between the character and and the word and. When kids got to the end of the alphabet, they'd say x, y, z and per se and. Over time, that was slurred into ampersand and by the middle of the 19th century, the word ampersand was in common use. Thanks for watching Words. If you liked it, click subscribe. Cheers. Especially the big girl, big girls need love too, no discrimination in this world. So keep your hands off.